Coming from what appears to be an abandoned ship. We haven't found corpses or any other trace of the group. All we found is an empty container that was left on the deck. It seems to have been forced open with an acetylene torch. No clue as to whereabouts of its former contents. We are searching the search team for the lost crew members to be dispatched to ASAP. Jeez. Talk about bizarre. Hey, what do you make of all this? It's just me reinforced seal, so whatever it was in here had to be important. Or something was lurking inside, and when they opened it, it devoured them whole. And maybe it's still on the ship, or whatever. <laughs> hey, where did you disappear to? Come on, it's getting dark out. It's funny because that's not even a chest; it's a bloody coffin. Girl voice, girl voice. 
Because in the anime, it's not even like he's not even still believing it. If anyone finds out about this, I'll be firing in a heartbeat. Don't worry, I'll handle my grandson. Grandson? Jojo, it's Grandpa. Grandpa's here to help you now. Please come home. Get off! You're coming with me. Piss off! I didn't ask you to come here. You want to help me? What makes you think you can do that? Sorry, I had to come all the way from New York. General brandished the left pinky finger of Joseph's prosthetic head. My, my finger? Why did you take that off? See that? You finally get it? This is my evil spirit. Don't come any closer. Unless you want to cut short the little time you have left. My god, there should have been like, um, like, there's like a time limit on this, and there's a lot probably. There should be one over on me. <laughs> Funny, considering how Joseph's a trickster. Even though it's Abdol, goddammit. All we need to do is Muhammad Abdol, my good friend from Egypt. Abdol, get my grandson on this set. Kid of love, he looks tough, but just saying you'll get me out isn't going to make it happen. Besides, you really think I'd let a bug out like guy like that put me out of here? Nothing you can do is going to change my life. All you're doing is getting on my nerves. Mr. Jostar, I may have to be a bit rough with you, but I'm too. He'll be me he, uh, he may be in so much pain that he'll be begging us to let him out. That's not a problem. Uh, uh, what's going on here? Hey, keep it down! Quiet! And we have our battle. Now, uh, what the M stands for is basically distance. Uh, yes, Abdul is an evil spirit just like yours. The spirit of the place on those will is called Ajishan Zurito. Now basically, uh, what this is is basically um, a fighting game, uh, uh, game where basically it depends on distance. There's long distance, there's medium distance, and there's small distance. Because uh, basically the point, is, the point is, is that the stand users are pretty much skilled on, uh, skilled on both uh, offense and defense. Yeah, free damage. Uh, 
gioco, now gioco, dai, now gioco, summon your spirit, as well. A figure resembling an ancient Roman centurion appeared from behind Joe. I didn't even know that was actually a thing. Discovered. It was empty. Only I know what it contained. This one Abdul, the one Abdul I've been searching for. When you saw it, you say the one you gave me. Yes, searching for a person. One was also aboard that ship. One of the years ago. Sir, it's widely risen from us a hundred years summer. His name is Dio. Mortal enemy in the Joe Star bloodline.
Polly, have you ever taken a good look at the backs of your necks? What do you mean? I'm sure you've never examined it carefully. But on the very base of my neck, there's a star-shaped <coughs> birthmark. <laughs> How did you ever put anything mark on there? Why'd you mention it? I heard from my mother that my late father also had this very birthmark. I imagine all those are the Joe Star bloodline. <laughs> so what exactly is on that photo? This birthmark, which none of us have paid any mind to know, will decide our fate. <laughs> Just get to the point. Show us what's on that photo. Dio. It's that Dio. It seems that's always appears in my photos, and on his neck is that same birthmark. That's because below the neck, dear Brando's body belongs to my grandfather, Jonathan Joestar. <laughs> for my grandma Irina, I would have never known what occurred on that ship that was lost in the Atlantic over a century ago. <laughs>
in my command? That's kind of nothing. Understand, it's truly coming this past whole hour. But why are you doing this? What exactly are you? I suddenly drowned in and was killed by one of these stands. Because maybe like you would have recorded a message. And what do you want with me? As long as Peter lives, they will continue to hunt you down. Go with caution. Wait, slow down! Are you asking me to risk my life? What makes you think I'm going to let myself get involved in something that dangerous? Have you ever heard with great power comes with great responsibility? This is simply a consequence of the thing you yourself wish for. You wish for power? Say grant your wish. Our people will feel threatened by those who stretch and approach as their own. I can't believe this. You're the one who did this to me, so shouldn't my life, your life be the one that's on the line here? Say it one more time. You're the one who wished for a stand, and you're the one who called it forth. If you left the to his own devices, your friends and family would be at risk. Even if you weren't aware of it, you knew you needed to protect it. This is your destiny. I'm just helping to move it along. Now, head to school, just like you would any other day. Now, um, the reason, uh, I'm, now, okay, so I'm gonna end this right here. And the reason why this looks, uh, extremely ridiculous is because... Manga style.